this is Mirgloff Builds, and in today's video I'm going to build an Oracle Temple. And I'll explain what that means uh, at the end of the video, but I'm going to build it here. And the purpose uh, for this Oracle Temple is going to be to house my uh, enchanting setup. And I have a bit of off-camera work to talk about, and I'll do that at the end of the video, at the end of the video as well. But for now, I'm going to begin building now.
All right, the Temple of the Oracle is complete. And a lot of the uh, this plot is uh, used just for sort of decorative purposes. We'll take a look at the exterior here. So I explain uh, what this Oracle business is all about. Uh, usually how uh, in the other kingdoms, how, en how I've handled enchanting is... Uh, I've built libraries, which are the homes to uh, mages, but uh, the sand people are different in that they don't really, uh, they're sort of, oh, okay, there's an issue right here. Uh, you may or may not have noticed it during the time lapse, but I was having some weird uh, bucket glitches where the, some weird glitches with the buckets in the water and it not working as it should. Anyways, uh, the sand people are a bit more superstitious about uh, things that they don't understand, and so there isn't a lot of uh, magical stuff involved involved with them. Although they aren't uh, foolish in the extent that they wouldn't allow the other their rival kingdoms, which they war with, to have an advantage as far as enchantments go, or having enchanted weapons. So they do have one, on rare occasions, uh, have very few people who would be sort of on m sort of mage-like, but they're called oracles. And this is the main oracle temple where pretty much all the enchantments in the Sand Kingdom come from. This is just my enchanting station there. At least that's, you know, the lore that I'm making up behind the whole thing. Because obviously there isn't actual magic in Minecraft and all that nonsense. But the, the lore to uh, the world I'm making, Third World, there's a lot of magic involved. Anyways. I also used uh, red and white wool. Uh, the white to uh, symbolize uh, cleanliness, and the red to symbolize power, and they sort of stand out next to each other. And I also, since I have actually gone, gotten, uh, built a nether portal, I have some netherrack which I can now use. And I also uh, got, obviously, you know, obviously I've been to the nether because I had those uh, redstone lamps in the previous video. Alright, that's that. Now as far as uh, off-camera work goes, uh, I've done a lot of mining. Uh, the biggest thing I've done is build uh, another one of these apartments here. It's very similar to uh, the apartment style uh, type B over here. But there are some differences, as you can see from this side is significantly different from these sides. The interior is all the same, although I haven't furnished it yet. And the roof is different, there's a different style of roofing there. 
Over here I sort of had squarish oval domes, but I did not do that this time. I've also uh, dug pretty much all the I dug all the sandstone out of this area over here, which is where I got the majority of the sandstone I used for uh, this video's project. What I'm working on over here now is just uh, digging off this additional layer of stone, and I'm going to cover it with sand, as I do with these other plots here, as you can see. And I've done a lot of mining in caves, because I was looking for uh, watermelon seeds for the, uh, the indoor gardens, which I'll pop over here. And I was able to get... Uh, a bit over uh, level 30, so I was able to make an enchantment. Not exactly what I was looking for. I'm looking for, uh, not silk touch, I forget what it's called. I think it's like loot, loot something. It's something that gets you multiple drops. I forget what it's called. I'm trying to get that so I can use it to get a large number of uh, iron ore and diamonds. And we'll just take a quick look at the indoor gardens. There has been some slight changes to the, the uh, redstone wiring here. It's a little bit more convoluted because uh, it did make a mistake when I built this. And since I built the ceiling too high, so when these lamps overhang, uh, they don't provide enough light in enough area, so I had to get them down just a little bit more by using uh, half stone slabs so that they evenly light out this entire area. Otherwise, the uh, they'll just break. They'll, they'll never grow. They won't let you plant them. I'll just... Uh... I'm also playing in... Uh... I'm no longer on peaceful difficulty. Now that I've got my uh, food situation sorted out. And that's pretty much all for this video. And... Oh shoot. I did forget to thank uh, some people for subscribing. I'll do that in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.